Reckless talk. Son of a justice. Hey, reckless talk. But I got expensive habits. Don't step in soul. So, player ratings Burnley, 0, Arsenal, 5. And here are player ratings. So, Kwame, I think you read the players out of 10. So, you said the goalkeeping position. How did you rate Raya? I did try with a 9. Uh, I think he, he did spectacularly, spectacularly, spectacularly well. Uh, he saved that one goal chance that was looked like it could have gone in. Yep. He calms the defense, even though when, when we were panicky in the first 5-10 minutes, mm. he was able to calm the defense. Yeah, just the professional performance from Raya. Yeah. I think him, him, him is one of the players, him, Rice, uh, Saliba, that, that, and Odega. These are some people that help bring a lot of calmness into our team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, we are uh, owing to the fact that you know, Raya didn't have much. Of course, we, give, we have to give it to our defense. So it starts with a keyword. Keyword. I think given the mistakes he used to do before, yeah. Uh, today he was. Of course, we know his attacking is not one of his major strengths. Yeah. But in terms of defense and just creating a wall on the left side, mm. he was very effective. Even he think he he provided a pass for a goal. Mm. Mm. So I'd give him. I'd give him a nine. I'll give him a ten. Mm. Uh, we go to the center backs, Gabriel and uh, Saliba. Yeah, so center backs uh, today, for some reason, they were both panicky, uh, losing the ball. They were being covered. The good thing, the team were helping each other when someone yeah. makes a mistake. Especially they can but, rise by the way. Yeah, comes in and covers, yeah. yeah, but if it was a Man City, a Man United, uh, Aston Villa, I think those mistakes would have been punished. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they were lax, like some of the wingers were going around Saliba, going around Gabriel. Mm. Yeah, so for me, this time I'll give them a seven. I think uh, it's just that uh, we were flogging a dead horse. Uh, Burnley are already mentally... Trained. They, are, they already know but they're going to be relegated. Yeah, so. they're, 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 they're not in the right space. Yeah. They're, at, they're there for the taking. Yeah. Based of their statistics, they've been losing home games, so away yeah, games. Yeah, so for me, I'd give them, I'd give Saliba seven, I'd give uh, Gabriel seven. Yeah. Okay. Then you go to Ben White, the right back. Yes. Yeah, so Ben White, another masterful performance. I understand we have the Champions League, so I understand why Ateta would have to bring him out. Yeah. He's becoming Mister Consistent, which I like. Right. He's focusing on what he does best. He's also improving in batting, uh, not as good as uh, Zinchenko, but the difference between him and Zinchenko is that even as he inverts, he is very de defensively sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zinchenko is is very good at 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 uh, playmaking and inverting, but he's suspect uh, in defending, and so all the defenders when Zinchenko is playing, they are always covering him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I'd give him. I think a nine. Yeah, yeah. Nine, okay. Yeah. All right. Then you go to yeah. the midfield. Declan Rice. Midfield, Declan Rice. Today, I think we were so wasteful. I cannot yeah. compare this with the previous game for last week. Mm. So, uh, I think today, the left back and the right back uh, did tremendous jobs. But the central defense were mm. poor. Midfield, apart from Havertz, I think Rice and Odegaard were losing too many balls. Oh, really? But I think okay. today, like, okay. like you, you saw, like there were so many wasted balls. Mm. Uh, in fact, let me not let me not put it on Rice. Let's say Odegaard and Trossard were and and Martinelli were losing mm. a lot of the balls. So, yeah. so let me just start with the midfield. So I'll say for Odegaard, I'd give him also a seven, uh, simply because I know the quality he has. Right. Um, Definitely, he made us better. Definitely, he was making the game tick. No, let me give him an eight. Why? Mm. Because of the running, mm. like the he pressing. was pressing. Yeah, the pressing. Like mm. he was working so much harder mm. than. And also scored a goal, yeah. And he also scored a goal. Yeah. So yeah. let me give him an eight. He lost a couple of goals, but 
I'll give him an eight. Yeah, I don't think I can compare him to the subs that came in. Yeah. For Rice, um, I think this game remained the way it was because of his sharpness. He rarely has a bad game. Mm. Um, lost a couple of balls, which is rare. So I'd, I'd give him also an eight. All right. Yeah. Then you go to Harvard's. Harvard's masterful. Created a lot of. He did very good counter pressing. Yeah. Did a lot of running. Yeah. Like Odegaard. I mean, he he was relentless, yeah, and he was rewarded by a goal for his efforts, yeah. So I think I can give him a nine. Yeah, I, I yeah. agree. I agree. Yeah. Then you go to the forwards. Bukayo Saka scored two goals. Of course, one in the penalty. Bukayo Saka. I know the reason why is because when you when you give somebody a ten, mm. people like Messi, um, Ronaldinho, you know, because th- when they totally dominate a game. Those are the ones you should give a 10. Mm. I think we should not be so quick to give 10s. Yeah. But uh, I think I'd give Bukayo a 9. Um, not because he played badly, because he did his job. Yeah. yeah. He, he was able to create overloads, stretch the defense. When they come to him, release the ball on time. Actually, you know, that's, let, me, let me just say that uh, I think when I did the watch along, I, he actually noted this. But, you know, People are used to actually attacking him. So, like, you know, uh, when Bukaya has the ball, you find like two guys now on him. And you remember there's a time we talked about this. Mm. We they need to use him as a decoy. Mm. Full defenders, and that's what they no, need to do. That, yeah, that's what they've been doing. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just that before, yeah, Saka used to lose the ball a lot. Yeah. Or shoot unnecessarily. If unnecessary. Like, and if you remember uh during the Christmas, the Christmas, the festive season, yes, the goal is scored today. Yes. He was just blasting the ball over the net, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ab- above, 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 uh, above the goalpost. Mm-hmm. So there's some sense of improvement. Yeah, he's scoring goals yeah. now. He's, he's confusing because he's using both feet. Now. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So, so I think there's some a huge development for him. You know, for somebody who's just 22 years. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> I don't think I was anywhere near his skill level at 22. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think uh, at 22, and the ceiling is still high for him. I think. He did a master. There was a masterful performance for yeah, him. Yeah, and uh, I think it's good good morale for going to Porto because Porto are more seasoned. They are veterans. Mm. If we make the mistakes we are doing today, they'll definitely we'll suffer. Us. But maybe the, the the slack I can cut the team mm. was because you could tell the rain was you know the the rain was so much. Eh? Mm. Have you ever played when it's raining? Yeah, yeah. So I think. They were sliding. We were not as sharp as we yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. And nobody of... wants to get injured. Yeah. Because you see, when you run, when you run too fast mm. on a sweat field, yeah, yeah. That's how you can mess up your yeah. groin. Eh? Yeah. Because yeah. you can slide, mm. get a silly injury for mm. a game you've already won. Mm. Mm. So maybe in hindsight, I can say they are learning to manage games. You don't need to exert yourself. You've scored five nil. Yeah. No need to take stupid risks. So, so I think. From a professional perspective, I, I understand why maybe they were not going too hard. Mm, mm. Yeah, there's no need to get an injury in such a game. Oh, yeah. 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 Then you go to... But you got a silly yellow card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you go to the left wing, Martinelli. Martinelli, Martinelli, because I view him as a future Ronaldinho, Messi, Mbappe level player. Yeah. In his own right. If he improves two three aspects of his game like releasing the ball on time variating his attack mm. uh crossing better yeah uh i think and also getting when he gets chances like he can only use his legs he can't use his head yeah and he's so fast uh, he can he can have many opportunities to score mm. so i think there's an evolution just like the way you've seen saka improve i think martinelli has also improved tremendously yeah yeah yeah, his confidence is much better now uh, in front of goal. Yeah, just they are twenty, they are twenty one, twenty two year old players. Yeah, so, yeah. so I think uh, they are developing well. So for him, I'd give him an eight. An eight because he worked hard. Yeah. He went. He was chasing every ball. He was doing everything. But uh, I think as a team, this is the thing that I've noticed with Arsenal. There are some passengers in the in the team. Odegaard was running, Rice, uh, Martinelli, and there's some players who just hide. They just hide. Yeah, they yeah. don't put in the work. And I think these are things they should be called out, not privately, 
in front of everyone mm. that when you're playing with a team that is second is it the bottom of the league a team that's at the bottom of the league yeah you must affect the game 100% you must affect the game you cannot come in and be a passenger yeah 100% hiding yeah. hiding between players yeah no no yeah yeah so there you go. Uh-huh. yeah so so yeah so that was Martinelli Trossard as much as he scored I'll give him a 7 I'll give him a 5 by the way I think he was yeah five. Yeah, I think I'll five is five. Yeah, because yeah, he wasted so, so many, many chances, passes, like those that tapping in front of goal. Yeah. the ball went through his legs. <laughs> Martinelli was open. He didn't pass the ball to Martinelli. Yeah, you know. So, um, and then he was he appeared to be very wasteful yeah. in terms of just losing balls mm. endlessly. Gets a ball, he loses it. Gets mm. a ball, he loses it. Like the the physicality, and I don't think Burnley is the most physical side. Mm, if you mm. compare Brentford and West, West Ham, Ham, if he played the way he played today, ah oh, man, yeah. there's nothing he was going to see. A hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. So yeah. So maybe the torrential rains affected their vision. You know, it was raining, uh, helter skelter. Mm. You know, cats and dogs. So I'd give him a five. I think. Uh, he, st- he should not take for granted the position he's been given. Mm. But still, he's way better than Ketia, Cedric, Smithrow. Mm. Sorry, uh, I know because of time, well, I lumped them all up. The, the substitutes for me were all fives. Yeah, because for me, I'll even give him a four, man. The, Those guys... They didn't affect the game. And it's all. not like they were brought by there the last... They were brought in the 70th minute. Yeah. And the game went up to 100. Yeah. So thirty minutes, bro. Show you, yeah, show bring a difference. Yeah, bring a yeah. difference. Affect the game. Yeah, yeah. Because if you are going Champions League and every away goal counts, it does. You cannot hide. You can't be hiding. You can't be hiding. Like even the way Rissner was positioning himself, it's quite unfortunate because one of the and most fast. promising academy players, but those Rissner. Yeah, he was supposed to be better than even Bukayo. There's no way Harvard can press. Yeah, and be effective. And Rhys Nelson with all his skill and pace. Yeah. He can't do nothing. Anyway, yeah. drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let us know if our player ratings are fair or making sense. And I think I'll be seeing you on the next one. On to the next one, guys. Come on, you gunners. Go gunners.